It worked. Thank the Lord. I couldn't get the freaking thing to work. Then I had to pee. Then I got nervous. And then I had to get more of my drink. Good Lord. Herm, how you doing? Is this working? I was waiting 10 minutes. Man, oh man. I don't know if you guys I was noticed, like, there's no way I... this is going to go down. Yeah. I've been here well, since then... 8 a.m. <laughs> well, it's funny because then I was trying to figure out where to put BD. And I didn't know where to put BD. Surprise. And then it was all. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Surprise. There's, there's <laughs> your. Uh... Yeah. There's your, your issue there. Um, damn. Okay. We got this going. Um, it's funny because, like, you know, there's not a ton of people here, but there is my mom. <laughs> my mom's here, though, because I asked here? her. She is here. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. It's... Kirkland, how are you? It's so good to, <laughs> to see you. 20 bucks says my mom just talked to my phone or talked to her phone and was like, I'm great. My mom's actually super <laughs> tech savvy. So I got to be I got to be conscious of this stuff while she's uh, while she's uh you know, while she's she's on. Herm, how was your day, man? It was okay. It's not too bad. It's uh, am I good? Am I like in the right? I keep moving. I'm gonna make sure I'm. I'm no, you're perfectly great. good. It, yeah. Um, yeah, it is. It's really cold here in Brooklyn. So anybody, anybody in my area, hello. It's cold. I think it's like one degree outside, and I I might be making that up, but I don't think I'm far off. Oh, for real? And. Yeah, and the outfit I'm wearing, even though I do look like really stylish and cool, thank you for saying so. I uh, it is more of a utilitarian thing because it's so cold in my apartment. Oh, dude, that's right. Yeah, because what your landlord? What does he keep it? What does he keep it at? We had this conversation uh, with my landlord. Maybe like I hope they don't hear me. That would be so awkward. He's like, I turned in. He's got his like ear anyway. Up Son of a gun. So <laughs> he's got a big picture of phone above a, you know what I'm saying? That joke went in the garbage. But anyway, so he told me that he keeps the the temperature at like the, the bare minimum, basically. He's like, well, that's what it is. You know, it, it, I'm still at like my legal limit. And I was like, all right, touche. But he says at, at nighttime, they turn it down a little bit because the idea is that you are in your covers in bed, you know, under some blankets. Oh, right. Uh, well, Herm, we got a special guest here. Yeah. Um, we figured it'd be easy to get Brian Davis to get on because he's our friend and he wouldn't laugh mm -hmm. as any of this stuff kind of breaks. So let's bring old BD in. Where's he at? Where is he? Oh, my there God. He is. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> wow, this is really cool. It's like it Zoom, did, it but like, we're like a, like a sandwich. Thank God it freaking worked, man. I was... I was super worried. I mean, I just had, oh, damn, I got I to go nuts here. Really? Whatever. Uh, BD, are you all centered? Do you feel aligned? Are all of our heads congruent and the same size? Uh, yeah, 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 I think so. <laughs> yeah. Can you How see was... my selfie light? I got I got one like Jeremy did. Yeah, I got one too. You can see, you can see my you can see my ring light and my glasses there. How about oh, that? Yeah, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty gnarly to say that the the absolute least. Um, dude, my rig is stupid. It's stupid. I got the here's the thing, and I hope everyone knows this. The amount of time that Herm and I were spending back and forth on these little video conferences, and then because like what we're, we're using this app that like will let you conference people in, hence BD in here and Herman here. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh no, like this isn't working or the chin to win thing isn't working. Spoiler alert. We're like, um, you know, like this, this plugin isn't working or this, if this is, this is really hard. Shouts out to people who are actual real streamers and like make a living on stream. This is freaking hard. And I don't have, a, I don't have a video game to fall back on. Yeah, right? Yeah. Those guys play like eight hours a day, right? I was reading about that in the newspaper earlier. That guy Ninja. You heard of yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah, I know who Ninja is. He makes like a million dollars a day playing video games, at least. I Someone couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Yeah. What's the, what's the peeing situation with that? What do you mean? Do they pee breaks or like they have yeah. a little thing on the side of their chair? Oh, yeah. No. Like, well, that's... Does he have a catheter? Why do you think he makes so much money? It's all alive, man. All raw. 
Yeah. No, I mean, you can you can go on breaks. We can, yeah. Okay, Ed. <laughs> you said they run commercials, which they do. They run, I mean. They, te- they do? Dude, if you're making that much, I could just be like, like, hey, I just want to shout out to Gripmaster, and uh, they're the best. Oh. Use that for the best grip when you're working. This is for guitar, but um, but you know, it's like use this for that. Like all their stuff is like covered in ads and product placement. Um, and plus they have they have like things on their stream to where you know like if like here like I can do this where it's like you know there you go they run commercials like I can add people's comments and stuff to the to the stream. But like his his stuff oh, is going. Cool. Yeah, his stuff is going like across the board. Um, then he's got little tickers and all. I mean, there's some pretty crazy stuff you can do with do with Twitch. Um, BD, how was your uh, how was your online your woolen sale? Oh, it's great. Thank you for asking. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it, it it's ongoing. So uh, you know, if anyone wants to tune in, Wooden Sleepers IG story sale going going strong. So yeah, we're. Uh, heavy in the woolen game right now um it is like what the feels like temperature in new york negative <laughs> six or something so, uh, yeah you know, it's, it was accidental good timing um the worst is yet to come so uh yeah get prepared are you are you seriously gonna like move all of your stuff to to ig stories because like honestly i mean we were talking about this privately like it's it's freaking genius like I'm like, oh man, I, I can't miss out. I can't I can't miss out. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I think uh, it's it's both, you know. And I think this year has been all about just kind of figuring things out and trying new things and pivoting and trying to be nimble. And um, this was just something that I tried out for fun that people responded really well to. So I've decided to continue it. I think this is like our seventh drop now in this in this kind of format and uh did you just yeah, say drop and I'm really did you say drop i said drop yeah <laughs> i think there I, it is. I i didn't <laughs> i i accidentally i that's how i like label them in my phone notes but i don't publicly refer to it as a drop um although i guess that's what it is and whatever there's no it's a drop no man. That. we're all dropping everyone's 18, uh, I was talking to Antonio who does 18 East or whatever, and they're like, they're on drop 26. I guess he's chronicling yeah. every drop. I, I, It's genius. It's, yeah, there's a lot That's of cool. excitement from it. So I got my ducks yeah, wet. I dig it. Oh, good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you love it or what? Yeah. I mean, I was nice. going to wear it tonight, but it's green, and I didn't want to mess with the green screen. Yeah, okay. Cause like I mean you know oh, this awesome. this is behind me right like that's what's behind me. Um, the the tropical scenery is actually it's making me feel warmer. Right. Oh, you got to see all the all the the bad stuff I have like, oh, Badaya, I can go into a tunnel. I mean I got all sorts of just like absolute bizarro crap. You know I should have been gotten a tropical shirt. Thanks for saying that. Um, yeah, but the, most of the stuff's the beach. A beach or uh, some palm trees. You guys got to get green that screens, and then we can go park. on. We can we can go on little virtual trips together, because that's all. I don't think I will get to see you guys for a while. This actually is a green screen. This is the uh, vintage men's room, uh, menswear <laughs> showroom. <laughs> um, um, well, mine too. I know we, we got some games going. <laughs> yeah, Herb's, Herb's got a green screen. It's his. It's like a. It's like a art art studio green screen. It's uh, yeah, it including took me a really autograph. Long time to get that stuff you like. <laughs> yeah, including autographed pictures in the back. That's an autographed picture of me, but it's I didn't autograph. But like, how narcissistic Wait. is that? Wait, hold on. Who? Well, who signed it? It's Rusty Staub signed it. So like when I, I don't know if you can see it, but when I was like a wee herm, I, I went down to spring training and met Rusty Staub and he signed it. And I, I look so upset in that photo. Anyway, we'll, put, we'll post it on our social channel. So make sure you subscribe. Make like, sure you and, like uh, and subscribe. And, uh... Yeah, you can click on the link here. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So we're going to play Chin to Win. BD, you're not going to get roasted. Um, okay. We know. Do, we don't do that anyway. God. When was the last time any of us said? Are you like? There's gonna be no small penis jokes or any sort of stuff here. 
we're we're we got just, you know, yeah i was in the dark so i didn't know what to expect this is true bd had no idea what <laughs> what was happening and we were texting him <laughs> later and being like hey like you're gonna join right because if you join if you don't join tonight you're gonna fuck us <laughs> like you're gonna ruin this this whole night yeah, revolves no around you brian davis would never right. step, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm ready you know i i'm here i'm here for the people all right all right been- all right is that time <clears throat> <laughs> it's chin to win baby it's chin to win yeah yeah uh first off before we start big shout outs to maddie these graphics and animations and stuff are like man i feel like we're working with pixar it's unbelievable that is yeah. so cool so yeah. cool. so uh yeah welcome everyone to the very first episode of blamo live yeah it's super exciting so um as you can see we're just a couple of fun guys here having a fun time and let's let's have some fun Smoke right we said fun of yeah all right you hear that mrs kirkland <laughs> all right here we go so uh welcome to chin to win everyone i'm so excited to have you here We'll be going over the 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 rules and such. So um right, right now right now I can only hear Jeremy and and Brian obviously, but feel free to throw yeah. your uh, guesses there in the chat. We'll have somebody moderating that. Uh, Mrs. Kirkland mm-hmm. is keeping track of that. So it's true. My you. mom is online. Like she's legit in the chat. So all right. So um, welcome to Chin <laughs> to Win. So this is a special episode that we made for uh, you know the the winter months. It's mm-hmm. Chins of Sin. Ooh. So, what does that mean? These are <laughs> these are. What is that? Is that <laughs> that was that Toad? Toad? Yeah, it's Toad from Mario Kart. Yeah, I knew it. All right, so chins, chins of sin. These are all going to be celebrity mugshot chins. So mm. we'll have big opportunity for points here. You'll get one point for your uh, chosen chin correctly and obviously another point for why they were arrested but let's deep let's dig a little deeper into these rules is that cool with you guys yeah and by the way everyone uh whatever you comment like we can totally see so we can add it if you get it right we'll be we'll be keeping score over here too i have a massive yeah. score scoreboard behind me uh, maybe i'll put it on the green screen but you'll see it oh my god that would be oh awesome. yeah we're gonna come back to like the super bowl of chins i know Man, we'll... season two be cash and prizes gentlemen. <laughs> with the pup, the chin puppy ball. All right, here yeah. we go. So here are the rules. So how do you play? Easy. So the first rule is you have to I- identify the celebrity chin correctly. So um, and w- what does that mean? Answer correctly and you gain a point. That's what that means there. I should have practiced this. So um, <laughs> the correct way to gain a point is I'm going to need the f- the full name of the the actor or actress or a famous nickname. So for, mm. for example, uh, Madonna, you could say Madonna, that is a point. But if you also said whatever her first name is, Sacconi, that's an extra point there because that's excellent. That would totally count. And then here at the bottom, Herm rule supreme within the chin bin. That means that uh, it's my game. So if I don't like the answer, I can skip it and give the points out to whoever I want. I hope that doesn't <laughs> sound mean. It's just how it is. When you get a lot of people playing, sometimes you got to like put your foot down. But very nicely because I got nice slippers. All right. You guys ready to play? Hey, yeah. All right. I think they're so ready our, to play. Our first chin. Ooh. Um, is that James Franco? No. No. I it can't is not tell James Franco. Someone said, uh, Hilla said Steve-O. Is it Steve-O? It's not Steve-O, though there are quite a few mug shots, I'm is sure. Is it Christian Bale? Not Christian Bale. Louise? Louise? I don't know. My mom said Louise. Louise. Someone said Sam Rockwell. Not Sam Rockwell. Oh, All right, here's, here's a... Wait, give, give us some hints. All right, yeah. stop jumping on me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's a hint. So this, this chin was arrested in 1995 for lewd conduct and was caught with a prostitute. Hugh Grant. <laughs> Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. And that's right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Big points up on the chin board for Hugh Grant. Oh yeah. 
Do you oh, remember yeah. that story? They like interviewed the prostitute and everything. He like went all in. He's like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, no, he told he admitted it, and it, it like it ruined his reputation for a while because I think Notting Hill had just come out. Um, yeah. yeah, you know what? That did not stop me from watching Notting Hill anyway. So good for him. <laughs> all right, so uh, our next gen. MJ. Oh, oh, that that is. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a full name. Oh yeah, Michael Jackson, baby, come on, Michael Jackson. There oh he is. yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, a lot of MJ's boy. popping in. Yeah. There. You didn't know so, I was on the pop culture <laughs> shit like this, did yeah, you? That, that one was up there. Uh, so, a little late on the freaking correct answer noise. Son yeah, of a bitch. That's right. This is the pilot episode. We'll get you in season two, everyone. So Michael Jackson was, uh, you know, arrested in 2003 for child molestation. Ooh, ew. Next gen. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a tough one. I don't know who this one is. Anyone? I'm, this I'm is, this is like that. Line. Uh, Bruno Mars. There's oh, Bruno who Mars. Who said that? The homie Brent was the first to say it in the chat. There it is. It was. Br- Wait, what did, what did Bruno, Bruno Mars, Mars do? What did Bruno Mars do? Someone, someone said Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. It could be. Uh, so Bruno Mars was arrested in 2010 for cocaine possession. Ooh. Oh. Wow. You can tell he's ready to go. Look at that. You don't, <laughs> you don't smile in your mugshot if you're just chilling. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the next gen? You don't smile on your mugshot. Lock, lock you that see. ahead and still slaps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Bruno Mars is great. And um, to, to side note on that, we're going to see a lot of smiling mugshots. So so remember that for your guesses on why these people were arrested. All right, Ooh, okay. next gen. A lot of cocaine. This one's, for you. this one's for you, Jeremy. All right. Oh, um, oh, that's the Pawn Stars dude. That's the Pawn Stars yeah. guy. What's his uh, name? Fudge, uh, Chum Lee, Chum Lee. Oh Chum yeah, fourth Lee. fourth Quinn had it right. He <laughs> listed wow. the guy from Paw Stars, Paw Al Star. Borland. Oh my! God. Someone with Al oh. Borland. Oh, is, anybody, so is anybody online right now that can produce a show called Paw Stars, and it is about like adopting a puppy or something, or maybe like an overweight dog, and you like make them skinny, you know, so they're healthier and all that. Anyway. That that's a great yeah. idea. Hey, Herm, that's don't. A great idea. Why are you giving like all your hot tips, man? Someone that N- Netflix is going to pop in here and s- snipe your show. I picture somebody with like a really long mustache. Like, <laughs> where to go, Herm? <laughs> all right, so uh, Chum Lee. I also would have accepted Austin Lee Russell as his um, his oh, birth name. Who I mean, true. I did not know that. Um, so he. Anybody, you know why he was arrested? Uh. St- yeah, <laughs> no, I think that that's a solid guess. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what but was no, it? He, he was he was arrested in uh, 2016 on a guns and weapons charge. Chum Lee, you know it was, what was but, he like doing? Little, it was a 1776 revolver that he got for pennies to the dime. Oh, you know, and he's gonna sell it. You know, so. Oh wait, that's anyway, really what it was? No, I made that up. Oh. But it could have been. But it could have been. It was a. I'm sure it was a much cooler gun. He got that TLC money. All right, here we go. Next chin. All right. Ooh, a little bit of. Remember, we're gonna need full name here. Um. Is that Russell Crowe? It is not Russell Crowe. Um. All right. If if Hilla does know that chin, where's it? Oh. Bad news, babe said Screech. Is it All right. Dustin Diamond? Right. It is Dustin Diamond. Oh, look at him! Oh, oh. that was impressive. Wait, hold on. Are wow, these, are these comments live that I'm seeing on the screen? Yes, people wow, are actually so watching cool. this. The internet is awesome. All right, so Dustin Diamond, aka Screech, was arrested wow. in. You ready for this? 2014 for stabbing a woman in a Wisconsin bar. <laughs> God, what? are you serious? <laughs> Yo, that's yeah, heavy. I, we are not playing Mad Libs. That is an actual arrest record. Um, you know, he was, <laughs> this was actually the day the day after Christmas too. So it was December 26, 2014. And look at him. 
I, I can't. I, he was not arrested for cocaine possession, but he is smiling. So we'll see what happened. All right. Are you guys ready for our next chin? Let go. Ooh. Um, Wesley Snipes? It is not Wesley Snipes. Um, crap. Uh, this is this is a, a, a difficult chin, chin difficulty of one hundred. Hill said Mike Tyson. Oh, it is Mike Tyson. Wow, oh, Jay Hill with the point. All right. Congrats. Let me tell you something real quick. So when I got this image, I got it like you know one of those like it had all those watermarks all over it. So I had to go in and I erased all those watermarks. That's how much I love you. But I forgot that one in his like left ear. So there's like a little A if you take a look right there. <laughs> take that, Getty. <laughs> all right. So um, th this is my favorite part about this. Wait, wait till you hear why he was arrested. So in, on December in December 2004, uh, Mike Tyson mm -hmm. was charged with a misdemeanor for criminal damage. According to Scottsdale police, an inebriated Mike Tyson departed the Pussycat Lounge around mm -hmm. twelve forty-five a.m. and that jumped on the hood and jumped on the hood of a stranger's car, causing about fifteen hundred dollars in damage. Oh, he was Lord. yelling. He was yelling at the car's driver while perched on his hands and knees on top of his nineteen ninety-five Toyota Solera. What? Can you imagine how scared you would be if Mike Tyson is on his hands and knees screaming at you from outside your windshield? I would have driven away. I would have killed Mike Tyson. I would have ran him over. There's no one. It's fight or flight. He would, like, what are you going to do? He's such a scary guy. I mean, yeah. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. No, that's a – that's a – what was that, Brian? I'm sorry, man. What, what did he do to provoke Iron Mike, though? Why would you do that? I don't know. Uh, Listen, that yeah, was not, that was not on mugshots.com. <laughs> so if I mean, anybody knows, let deep. us know it in the comments. Right? Yeah. If anyone knows why this happened, comment away. We'll throw you up on the on the stream. But holy it moly, must've... mother of God. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. 2004. That's pretty wild. I saw that. I was like, I got to read this all out. So good. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Ready for our next chin? Mm, let's go. Ooh. Um, Scott Kahn? Scott Kahn. It is not Scott Kahn. Uh, hmm. Jonah Hill? Someone Jonah would... Hill? Jonah Hill hasn't been arrested. He hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, he's squeaky clean. Yeah, he's as clean as a whistle. You guys want a hint? Yeah. Yeah. This chin was arrested in 2005 per f for possession of a graffiti instrument in New York City. Oh, that's Herm. Wait. Oh, my God. It's oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> little, little Herm. You didn't, you didn't think I'd slip myself in there? Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess you are a celebrity, Herm. Yeah. Mrs. 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 Kirkland, it was a misdemeanor. Everything was dropped. It was just nothing was damaged. <laughs> Wait, hold on. As I, I want to let everyone know because you have this framed in your house. Well, yeah, it's just it's just like a funny thing. It reminds me to be a good boy. Yeah. Don't <laughs> look at you. Look at her, how innocent. Look at that head of hair, too. That's like uh, that's 2005. Now. Salute. It was like like three in the morning. All right. Anyway, that right, was next gen. Here we go. Oh wow. Okay. Now that is, but I don't know. I don't know who it is. Uh, wait. That's um. Oh crap. Um. People want to know what you were doing that you got. Yeah, people want. Danny Glover is what one person said. Bill it's not Cosby. Danny Glover. No, not Bill Cosby. I did Someone not say OJ. Put, it's not OJ. Um, really? You guys? Someone know? said James Brown. It is got... James Brown. Oh, oh hey, oh, that's a famous mug shot. That's a wow, that is. A yeah, so... <laughs> get on down. So this, so this mug shot was from uh, 2004. Um, he was arrested for domestic violence. So, oh. Well, clearly he didn't have time to comb his hair. Yeah. Shame, buddy. Um, Get your shit yeah. together. 
Yeah, come on, James Brown. What's up with that? All right, next. Uh, next chin. Uh, oh, dang. dude, Herm, these are hard ones, man. You gotta, you gotta give us some more hints. This is legit. This is yeah, not. I need, I need a softball like a Jay Leno or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Was he arrested? Um, come on, you you come you come the chin to win for the for the for the brainiacs, you know? <laughs> where, 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 where my chin people at? <laughs> love this stuff. You guys, you guys want a hint? Uh, someone said Keanu. It is um, Keanu Reeves. I'll wow. take, I'll take that. I'll take that. So first off, hasn't aged a day. I this am an FBI movie. agent. <laughs> that movie is fantastic. <laughs> we should stream it one day. We can just like comment on it. Uh, yeah. This is Keanu Reeves from 1993 for DUI. Oh, well. And then he was actually, he even admitted to it for the DUI. And then no, no charges, no charges were brought against him. That's good guy Keanu Reeves. <laughs> this is like, uh, yeah, I did that. All right, <laughs> 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 oh, here we go. <laughs> the Neo voice. <laughs> I know kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. let's go. <laughs> All right, next chin. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a classic chin coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what do we got? What do we got? It's not a classic. I don't. Uh, James Dean. I don't know. Oh, geez. Ashes to ashes, funky, funky. David Bowie? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Get out of What was he doing in New York, obviously? First, getting... off, first off, I want to apologize for jumping the gun on that clue. I just really wanted to sing that song. Uh, David Bowie was arrested in 1976 for marijuana possession. Hmm. Well, you know who he, and fun fact, he was actually with um, Iggy Pop. And they both got arrested for the same thing. Wow, that's, that's pretty crazy. cool. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It makes it makes yeah. me seem like such a loser. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? Why were they in Rochester? I guess they yeah. were like college ass. show. I guess. I don't know. We'll have to, have to dig back. But look how cool he looks. He's got, it looks like he has two different <laughs> eye, eyes, right? Right? Doesn't well, he? he's got he's got two different colored eyes. Come on, Does you know he that. Really? I did oh not my know god! That. That's like the that's like the lore of David Bowie. He's got a he has a brown eye and a blue eye. Wow, like a husky. <laughs> I mean, he's more than that. He's a he was a god. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, he had two different colored eyes. I mean, did you you ever watch Labyrinth? I, I I don't I didn't stare at his eyes. I was too busy looking at that glass ball. <laughs> that's true. All Forget right, here about we go, the baby. <laughs> We could sit here and talk about David Bowie all day long, ladies and gentlemen. True. That's not why we're here. We're not why we're here. We're here for this next gen. Here he comes. <gasps> oh, no. That's Mick Jagger. Yes, Mick I Jagger. I know those lips. Come on. Yeah, you do. Ooh. So uh, Mick ja this is Mick Jagger was arrested in 1967 for um, uh, methamphetamine. How do you say that? Methamphetamine? Methamphetamine. Possession. Ouchie. That'll mess with you. That'll that'll get you a day in the old slammer. Sorry, Mick. <laughs> How you get those cheekbones? But hold on, can we stop just for one moment? I, um, I, you get arrested and look as cool as that. Look, I mean, it, that looks like an album cover. <laughs> that does. Let, let's go. Back. If, if I could go back to my mugshot, that is like not the album cover. I'm like the before guy. And this is the <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, that's Mick Jagger, 1969, or 1967, excuse me. Uh, our next gen. Ooh, they got a lot of tattoos on the neck. That um, should be a giveaway. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It looks like the guy from Surf Ninjas. It is not the guy from Surf Ninjas. Oh, someone said Biebs. It's not Beaver. That is a good guess, though. Um, come on, hit, hit us with a hint. All right, uh, this this chin is a chin difficulty of sixty nine. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. No, a, a, a difficulty of six nine. Tech oh, six tech nine. Tech nine. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah someone, yeah. oh, there it is. Yeah, Nemo had it first. So, um. Because I'm not hip with all the lingo, uh, I also would have accepted six nine, Takashi six nine, or Daniel Hernandez, as his mom and dad like to refer to him. Daniel, 
Daniel yeah. was arrested in 2018 for federal racketeering charges. Whoa, that's some gangster stuff. And then he ratted out all of his friends. If so, so I've read. Hmm. Well, please don't come after me. I know nothing. This is not financial advice. All right, next <laughs> gen. Oh, that's uh, Belushi. No, good guess though. I could see I that. The same thing. Yeah. Uh, damn. This what do we this got? chin. This chin is straight on the crazy train, baby. Uh, Ozzy. Oh, yeah, it's Ozzy? it is Ozzy. Yeah. Oh, it's the St. Louis jersey. Isn't hey, Primo t-shirt. Yeah, dude, he looks man, awesome. We got to I got to get that jersey. I got to get that jersey, Oz. <laughs> it's super nice. Oh, so, uh, Oz really involved in vintage clothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be nervous to get my my chest hair pulled up in that in that yeah. zipper there. That's a dangerous move. Uh, anyway, yeah. so obviously he wasn't thinking that. So Ozzy was arrested in 1984. That's when this picture is hmm. for public intoxication. What surprise? He must and have been, been pretty there. far off, man, for just getting arrested being drunk in public. Yeah, there was a whole thing about I read about it too. Where it was like it was basically, I guess I, I don't know the geography of where he was, but they were saying it was this the it was like he was on like Bourbon Street in uh, New Orleans, you know, where like everyone's drunk, and then they just picked him up probably because he's Ozzy. Well, dang, yeah, yeah. I guess you're like, yeah, let's make an make an example out of the you know the Prince of Darkness. So yeah, he looks cool too. <laughs> looks great. Not bad, right? Oz. Yeah, all in a day's on, work. Keep on doing it, man. You look great, Ozzy. I hope you're well, watching. All right. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know how he feels about it now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Well, we're we're coming toward. We got a few more chins left, but mm -hmm, the fun mm -hmm. has not ended. Let's keep rocking. Next chin. Let's go. Oh, Paris Hilton. That is correct. Paris Hilton was arrested in 2010 for you guessed it. Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine? <laughs> there was something crazy too. Like she was arrested and didn't do like her full sentence because she went on like a hunger strike for like two days. And I could be making no. all this stuff. But I, I remember being like, and the rich get richer, you know? <laughs> I like can't eat this food. Man, if only she would have bought GameStop. Yeah, I know, right? If she could have looked into her Hilton crystal ball, <laughs> taken all of those points, and got that GME. <laughs> you know, one, this is totally when I when I when I saw everything going on about GameStop, and you know, like the call number is GME. I was like, "Good morning, America!" That's the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, "Wow, people are Wait, really in love with that." E America, the shoe company. No, I was thinking, "Good morning, America!" Like, uh, like the the television show. Oh, well, because it's GME. Or someone, I know. Someone, good morning. I'm an good morning, Estonia. I'm, Estonia. I'm an idiot. Good morning, <laughs> Estonia. Um, that, that, that'll be playing after Paul stars. <laughs> it's well, a very well, niche market. On, on Blamo TV, we have Good Morning Estonia followed by Paul stars. <laughs> <laughs> Rated M -A TV M A. Now, I'm, yeah. Now I'm listening. Whoa. All right, Paris, I can't look at you anymore. Get off my yeah, screen. Move on. Let's get another chin in here. <laughs> oh, this dang is it. Easily the hardest chin here. So I mean, I it's, the, give, it's the tiniest list. I, I mean, so, uh, <laughs> someone said Jay Depp. It's not, it's not Johnny Depp. Uh, mm. Good guess, fourth coin. I would have thought the same. Um, All right. Um, I'll, 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 let, I'll let this marinate a little bit just in case anybody gets it. But <laughs> But this Chen was arrested in 2001 for second degree robbery and one count of marijuana possession. It's a butthole mouth. Someone Isn't wrote it? mayor. Okay. Uh, this is this this Dude, person. This guy's really got it bad, man. That's a, <laughs> that's person, a rough Chen. This is um, this character. This person was on The Sopranos. Oh my God! Is, it, is that AJ? <laughs> It is AJ Soprano. I get out of town. Well, see, you know what? Now, let me let me backpedal a bit because, wanna... well, because look, I mean, now that you see that it's just a, a young boy, but when you when you magnify that, 
is the lips are so lips are so tiny. That's the magic of uh, chin to wind. Yeah, yeah, it is. Chin, chin to win. Uh, it sparks all of those synapses in your brain. You know, like you're just thinking everything. So Wait, yeah, I also would have accepted Robert, Robert Ehler, Ehler. I don't know if hmm. I'm pronouncing that right. All right, next chin. Let's go. Oh man, my Herb. favorites. Man, you dug deep. Oh, that's uh, like Snooky, right? Yeah, that's right. It is Snooky. Oh, BD. Damn, I'm actually great. I'm really embarrassed that I knew that. Actually, that's that's. <laughs> Dude, that look at how that photo. That was a rough night. That was a no, rough I'm, night for the snook. No. Let me tell you, this was not a night. She was arrested in broad daylight on the shores of Seaside. Have you ever seen this episode when she gets arrested? It's it's insane. Wait, for real? Oh man, yeah, I gotta just, see that. She's like walking on the beach. She's just super wasted. <laughs> she's just walking <laughs> on the beach. And you feel bad because everybody on the, the boardwalk is just watching her. Oh, So, man. yes, this is from uh, 2010. She was arrested for disordered conduct. Besides the name Snooky, I also would have accepted Nicole Polo Pol Polozzi. Pol I hope I didn't get that. Pol oh, Pol man. All right. So we've got just four more chins. Man, Herm. Thanks for Nice. This is great. It's fun, right? I hope you like yeah. it. Thanks for coming, Snooky. We love you. Bye bye. <laughs> she, fun fact: she actually bought a house in Bricktown, which is my hometown, hmm. and they have like a TV show where it's like her and Gianni get together and are like fixing it up. So if you oh. guys ever want a side show where we just talk about uh, Jersey Shore episodes, let me know. I'm here for you. That's what Herm does. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Next gen. <laughs> <laughs> this one's easy. Uh, that's the weekend. It is the weekend. I can't feel my chin. He can't feel my chin. <laughs> okay, so d does anybody know his real name? Uh, Abel. Yeah. Abel. Wow. D really? That is impressive. I had no idea. Yeah, it's like Abel. It's, I don't know how to say the his last name, but yeah, it's like Syed, Syed or something, I think. Close. It's. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm on a computer. I can just Google this. Like I feel yeah. like I should. Google but, it. Yeah. Good job, Fourth Quinn. It is the weekend. No need to no need to question mark. Put a put a period after that. That's a statement. It is the weekend. <laughs> so the weekend was arrested in 2015 for assaulting a police officer. Mm. Pretty crazy. All right. Yeah. Next chin. That's Tiger, baby. Hit, it is hit Tiger the Woods. Oh yeah. That's Tiger. Oh. oh. <laughs> this wow. this particular uh, Tiger Woods mugshot was, um, I believe he's been arrested twice. I could be wrong, but uh, Tiger Woods was arrested in 2017 for uh, DUI. Yeah, isn't that <laughs> Tiger? He's having that comeback though. He's having that. Comeback. He's great. His oh, yeah. son is is playing too now, right? There we go. All right, here we go. Uh, next chin. That's some ice ice yeah. baby right there. Yeah, That's I also would have accepted douche would have come up <laughs> if, if you had said that. Uh, Vanilla Ice, do you know what his real name is? Um, Mark McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm a, I'm a sugar fly, butter, baby. Is that it? Is that that song? Mark oh, the dude from Toxic? No, no. Uh, so you said sugar. You, you, yeah. you just mixed up Sugar Ray and Crazy Town. Just so you know. Can you believe <laughs> it? <laughs> uh, so uh, so d does anybody know what Vanilla Ice's uh, real name is? Eric Anderson. That is very close. It is Robert Matthew Van Winkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I'd go with Vanilla Ice too. So next time you're on Jeopardy, I hope that you get that question. Check. So uh, Vanilla Ice, let, let me dig into this one for a second, was arrested in 2015 for burglary and grand theft. Numerous items were discovered at his house, including furniture, a pool heater, a, excuse, a pool heater, and some bicycles. Hmm. Damn. I just Not thought bad. that was funny. Can you imagine? You're like, I'm going to take this pool heater. Anyway, well, when, you're say, uh, when you're Vanilla Ice. Contractor. Who is that? I heard he had. Uh, he was a contractor. 
Was he? I see. I don't know any but besides his involvement in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two. My, yeah. See, there it is. I uh, fell off the bandwagon there on my vanilla iceness. <clears throat> All right, so we have our last chin. Guys, this has been the greatest moment of my life to play chin oh, yeah. with all of you here and everyone in America and in Estonia. Good morning. Here we go. <laughs> oh, uh, Bruce Willis? It's not Bruce Willis. Jersey boy, though. This guy's not a Jersey boy. He might be. I have no idea. Dang. What do we got? I'll give it one more second and then I'll give a little clue. Oh, I'm going to need a little more. It could be Vince someone, McMahon. Someone said Vince. Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. That is right. Wow. wow. Great job. Great job. Yeah. So Vince Vaughn was arrested in 2018 on a DUI charge. So Woo! thank you for playing. Thank you for playing Chin to Win. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope we learned something. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was just <laughs> absolutely amazing. <laughs> Wow. Don't drink and drive, kids. Yeah. Yeah, don't um, drink and drive. But if you do, bring a comb. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> BD, don't leave. Don't leave. We got another thing that we made. This is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step back. I didn't make this. This is oh, hold up. Herm. Let me get... It's Herm's idea. It's all Herm. It's one of the most genius things ever. Brian, have you ever just wondered... Like, you know, life is tough. You're trying to figure out what to do. You're like, man, like, I just, I need some, I need some advice, you know? And like, you you go to call me, right? Because like, I'm, I know everything, not at all. And no answer. You go to call your wife, you know, you probably talk to her first instead of me. <laughs> you want me backpedal there? No answer. She's not around. You go to mm -hmm. call Herm. Herm's not there. And you stand there and you're just like, you stare up into the ceiling, you stare up into the sky, and you're just like, I need I need advice. If only someone with hair as good as mine, with vintage clothes as good as mine, with with all of these things as good as mine, if only I could receive advice from me. If only it was me that could talk to me. Because you you know more about any of this stuff than anyone. So if only you could just like reach inside yourself and use your grip master, which I keep fiddling with. And uh <clears throat> By the way, Herm, everyone sees you. You're on screen, so ever you oh giving the God, thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Who cares? It's a live show. I was my nose. But um, <laughs> but it, this is a thing. It's called advice from yourself. So now these are all real Brian Davises that Herm reached out to. Uh, he actually got his Instagram account locked. Because uh, he 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 spams too many people. Um, <laughs> that's a true story. Yeah, that's a true story. So yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> welcome to welcome to the first installment of advice from yourself. Mm -hmm. So Br Brian, nobody knows you better than you, isn't that right? So if you look I, in the mirror and you say, right? I'm sorry, I jumped on you. Yeah, I, I guess so. So, so fun fact, uh, according to truepeoplesearch.com, they have over 250 Brian Davises registered. And uh, Jeremy and I reached out to 45 of these Brian Davises, um, mostly on Instagram. And I did yeah. get locked out of my account for about an hour. But <laughs> four of these Brian Davises responded. And uh, basically what I had done is I reached out to them and I said, um, if you could give advice to somebody with your, to, if you could give advice to somebody with your name, what what would that advice be, or like a message or something? So here are our responses. So here we go. <laughs> so uh, our fir our first one was, uh, do your kid a favor, don't name him Brian Davis Jr. like my dad did with me. I still have recurring flashbacks to when they named me Brain in my fourth grade yearbook. Damn, by by Brian Davis. <laughs> so I, I gotta say that I when I when I put out the message, I was like, you know, I'm not gonna share any of your 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 names or anything like that besides the fact that your names are Brian Davis. But uh 
yeah one of the guys who did not respond had like these like crazy tattoos all over his face and i was like oh my god please please write me advice but he did follow me on instagram so i've got that going yeah so, so he didn't he didn't respond but he followed her <laughs> yeah everyone petty so, saved right uh allison my my lovely wife finds it hilarious that my name is brian davis because of how normal that name is and how there's probably a million people named brian davis in this country and she just thinks it's the funniest thing on earth that that's my name because it's like being named like john doe or something <laughs> <laughs> i never met a brian davis before you and i've never yeah. come across another one yeah so tell her like i don't know who who she knew is yeah you're the first bd i ever met hmm. well thank you yeah. And so, by the way, just yeah. just as a caveat here, Brian Davis kind of only goes by Brian Davis because he's his name is he's a person who's a full name first name. You know what I mean? Like people don't call me Jeremy Kirkland; they'll just say Jeremy. <laughs> you know, like that, that's yeah. It's just Brian Davis, and it's usually Brian. at specific Sorry. volumes you have to say his name. Hmm. So it's like a, it's a louder volume. I think that that has. <laughs> Only, uh, only you two call me Brian Davis. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well, that's what I like. <laughs> it reminds oh. me of. Uh, it always just reminds me of you guys. So I like that. It's like yeah. our special. I like it. All right. So, um, yeah. Has anyone have, has anyone ever called you Brain or misspelled your name before? Just like this gentleman. Well, so I am notorious for having typos in everything I do mm. uh, from like Instagram posts to emails. Um, I should note that I was actually a writing uh, major in college. So you'd think I would have a better grip on this stuff, but um, I just don't. And uh, I often sign my own emails brain by accident, which is so embarrassing. <laughs> But, you know, it's a common mistake. It's just the way that the, the fingers fall, I guess. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and it's one of the it's one of those two words. Like you're not like I mean you're not spelling an incorrect word, you know. So like autocorrect's not going to get that. Herm, what what was your let's let's dive a tiny bit deeper here. What what did people like mistake you? Did they call you Andy? I got called Jamie a lot. Like, what's your guy's coffee name? Brian, do you have a coffee name? I've never heard that term. What does that mean? If you go to get a coffee and they say, hey, what's your name? Can I put it on the cup? And like, they'll be like, I would say Jeremy. And they'll say, Jimmy? No. Jam. Oh, Jimmy. Jamie? No. Jay. So Jay is my coffee name. That's great. I've never heard that term. I love that. Um, mine, 100% <laughs> of the time is Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I don't know what I say. I might say Andrew. I probably say Andrew because if I say Herm, they're going to be like, "What?" So probably Herm? Andrew. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You get, you always get that like question mark. Yeah. <laughs> I love that we can see the captions there. Yeah, oh yeah, so I can like throw them up. <laughs> throw your coffee names up there. Um, that's good advice, though. I, I don't think I would ever name my son if i had a son I, I would never name my son brian davis ever so that i'm with that brian davis so thank you uh yeah thank you we'll link we'll link you up offline <laughs> yeah for sure for sure thank you yeah. all right so I, I i i do have to warn you that some of these there's no bad words or anything like that but some of these are, are pretty frat boy and i don't know mm. what parts they come in so uh i just thought it was funny because it's like the opposite of our brian davis so thank you for this brian davis Thank you, that Brian Davis. Let's continue. So here we go. Uh, my advice for another Brian Davis would be to act confident because with a name like Brian Davis, you are clearly good looking. So you just have to back it up with, with your wit and always wipe front to back. By the way, I just got my driver's license. <laughs> Brian Davis. You know, it's funny because I was like, oh, man, that first bit is like, that's nice. It's like a real solid high five to another Brian Davis. And that guy had to put a little put a little potty humor on here. That's not what Blamo Live is all about, but yeah. Wipe front to back? Come on, bro. I, does he? I didn't even, I, I couldn't even imagine like how to do it. Like a 
little bar stool logo in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that's true. This, this is not why people I can tell listen to this show to learn about how to wipe their ass. <sighs> but yeah, and so I, yeah, it's like absolutely blowing my mind that you got any responses. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got responses, bro. It's incredible. oh yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. People do not like the potty humor here. So this Brian <laughs> Davis, listen, that's Band. not what we're about here at Blam Alive. See you later. <laughs> See you later. That Brian Davis. You ready for Blam? Fam is, is Blam Fam is a high brow culture group. We don't this need this be, to be dragged through the mud here. <laughs> Move next. <laughs> next. Brian hey, Davis. No. No Get puns here. here. No puns, BD. All right, here we go. Next, Brian Davis. Feels like I'm doing a chin. Never throw bus tokens at a girl after sex. She will never let you forget it. Brian Davis. That's idiotic. This is even, that's even worse that's than the thing. Hard. Did you consider that someone would be screenshotting this and attributing these idiotic quotes to me? <laughs> no, that's why it's not you. Wait, Hold on. wait. Someone, oh, no. Can we edit uh, this? Can we edit this? Wait, uh, someone, oh, someone put an overlay. Uh, uh, canceled up in here. Well, for the oh reason, God! I, the reason I let this one ride is a I needed. Oh more God! Content. Oh, there. Okay, we go. hold on. That's Give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Whew. All right. This is not. This is not the content that Grip <laughs> Grip Posture wants. Is that the name Grip Pro or whatever? Yeah. We're, we're trying to get paid here. Yeah. So yeah, we need Instagram handles. Oh, at that. Ooh. I'm sure there's an underscore in there somewhere. Um. Yeah, you know what? Know what I was <laughs> metro cards. I was thinking, do <laughs> that's, that's do people good. <laughs> keep bus tokens? I was really, I was really yeah. Shocked how by that. how anyway. old was this guy? Was this 1938 or whatever? <laughs> it's just like bus tokens. <laughs> yeah. Like All right, so get out of here, that Brian Davis. Listen, that's not what we're about. But this one, next one, is quite nice. All right, years ago, I wanted to buy the URL oh. BrianDavis.com. But of course, it was taken already. Instead, I bought a URL that was my full name. I thought nothing of it, but, as so but soon friends, colleagues, editors, etc. started calling me by my full name. As well as making me sound like a serial killer or country star, it became, it became a persona I didn't ask for and had to struggle away from. My advice for your Brian Davis is this. Embrace the commonality of your name. Own the simplicity of the B and the D. Come you find on, that buddy. between those two letters lays the truth of yourself. Ryan Davis. How bored is this guy to respond <laughs> to someone <laughs> he had no idea that was going to reach out to him? <laughs> yeah, and, and lo and behold, you know, the millions of people tuned in right now are, are <laughs> getting <laughs> I... Was so grateful for this very well thought out and mm. honest, honest, um, you know, and advice. Thank you, thank you for for closing with that one. It, it made up for the other the other two. Um, although I would have, I think the quote should have been between the B and the the last letter would have been S. But um, <laughs> not touche. I, uh, I appreciate. Yeah. I, it's nice, right? I, I just wanted to put that in there because, you know, Brian Davis is, they, you know, some, some of them are smart. Some of them have potty humor. Some are PGA golfers or Ferrari challenge drivers. And then some Ooh. of them are just the Thank sweetest, you, most mom. amazing, amazing man you can ever meet. We love you, Brian Davis. <laughs> you could have just said he didn't like his middle name. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell he had a lot of time on his hands. Man, lockdown's got people bored, bro. He's he's seen that episode of The Office way too many times. So this is that was incredible. Thank you. And I mm -hmm. feel um not so alone in this world now, knowing that there are these other Brian Davises that took the time out of their busy days to uh send me some some thoughts. So thank you. Dude, yeah, you know, so thank you to all the Brian Davises. I I gotta say, one of the the problems with mentioning people with the same name as one of your best friends is that when every time one of them wrote back to me, I was like, "Oh, Brian, wait a minute!" And it was like that <laughs> second, I was like, "Don't throw bus tokens." <laughs> I was like, "So I was like, why are you saying this?" And I was like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh. so." <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Listen, Spidey, Spidey's got that gym at, at home. He's doing the squats. He's doing it. Um, what, what's the, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a long it's been a long day for the old Spidey. Um, and so, Brian, I hope when you when you measure all the stuff that happened, you're like, man, like my friends love me, and all these other people love you too. You think about all the other Brian Davises that are out there. They're pulling for you. They're, you know, <laughs> they want they want to help you. They want to they want to take you on their journey. I feel uplifted. Thank you. It's, that was very a very positive uh, experience. Yeah, it was like the good, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know. So we want to open up the floor to some questions. If anyone has any questions for BD, um, Q and A. We'll we'll throw it up on here. If not, it's not a big deal because you know what we didn't plan this, but it's a live show, so you know. It doesn't matter. Uh, someone wrote Fiji. That if I'm in Fiji, I'm not in. I'm not in Fiji. I'm in green screen. Boop. I can go anywhere I want. Someone tell me where they want me to go. You want me to go to Bricktown? There's some bricks. That's yeah. that's not cool. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We, here we got. We're actually getting questions now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Here, uh, we, go, here we go. All right. So first question. Is, oh, oh, sorry. What's your? This is tough because you can't see it because this, this thing is, is all messed up. It says, "What's your advice for making it through the rest of the pandemic?" That's from Ace Cold Brood. Uh, okay. So my advice, real question, for making it through the pandemic. Um, I would say try to find or try to make a little time for yourself every day to do something that makes you feel good, whatever that might be. Um, if that's going for a half hour walk, doing some yoga, cooking a nice meal for you or your family, meditating, listening to music, whatever you like to do, I think it's really important that you carve out that time and really claim that time um, for yourself each day to, to, to just uh, make sure we're taking care of ourselves. Uh, you know what that sounds like? I'm going to be honest. That that sounds a little bit like uh, <laughs> like like Agent Cooper. You know, like give yourself a present. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> do you ever do you ever watch? Do you ever watch? Uh, which watch Twin Peaks? Let me see. Oh no, I, know I, know I thought you were talking about uh, Sterling Cooper from uh, Archer. No, no, no. Like, Never, not once. By the I way, that poll, once, I, I don't remember any of it. Yeah, that poll, I, sorry, by the way, is, it's easy. I got YouTube in the background, so I can just search, search. It's easy when you got two other people on the screen. Um, yeah. So give yourself a present, Ace Cold Brood. Someone actually asked another question. I got to scroll up to try to find it. Um, they wrote, what middle, what middle name do you have and what middle name would you rather have? I don't know if you're comfortable sharing your middle name. Oh, this is can. actually I have a funny story related to this um, that I think the only other person on planet Earth that I've ever told this is my wife, Allison. But um, so my middle name is Marley. Um, I had sort of hippie uh, parents who were, I guess, really into Bob Marley. I don't know. This is maybe a little embarrassing. Um, I've learned to live with it. But when I was a little BD in like second grade, I remember really vividly having to write my name on some sort of form of some sort. Maybe it was a test, I don't know. And I was mortified by my middle name. I was really like embarrassed that my middle name was Marley. So instead of writing Marley, I wrote Zachary because I was obsessed with Saved by the Bell and thought Zach was more. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Player. So I figured, well, my middle name is Zach now. That's awesome. I love Zach wow. too. You, you want to know what yeah. my secret name is? And it's a bummer because my mom's actually on this chat. Sorry, mom. I do like the name Jeremy. But I wanted to be Link so I could get, <laughs> so I could get the Triforce. Yeah so, yeah, so I could get oh. the Triforce and save the world. You can't, you can't save the world and rescue Zelda and wield the Triforce when your name's Jeremy. You kidding me? <laughs> well, not with that attitude. Yeah. Wait, 
Wait, can I tell you my name? I yeah. always wanted to be named Chip, like Chip and Dale Rescue Chip? Rangers. Yeah. And <laughs> And then I remember in my hometown, we were playing like in the neighborhood and I met a guy and his name was Chip. He was a little older than us. Coolest guy in the world. Wow. I wonder what came, what became of him. Chip from Bricktown. Google you it. You should look, look, look him up. Look him up, on, <laughs> look him up on Instagram. Chip from Bricktown. Where are you at? Yeah, oh, man. I have a picture. He's doing great. All right. Here's another question. Favorite candle that's not a wooden sleeper's candle. Oh my God, that's uh, that's tough. I, honestly, um, I don't I don't have any candles. I don't burn any candles. The only candle that's in our house is the wooden sleepers one, and it's only because we make it here. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Take your other candles and throw them outside. Yeah, I do I have a, like a funny candle anecdote though. Like a woman came into wooden sleepers one day and bought some of our candles and really liked them and. Um, she went on to tell me that she worked for Yankee Candle and that she was like, I would never burn one of those in my house. They're like carcinogenic. <laughs> Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> She's like, I got to pay the bills, Brian Davis. Yankee <laughs> Candle is just awesome, a means man. to an end. Yeah, I just thought that was really <laughs> Someone wrote Stanky yeah. Candle. That's, exactly. that's genius. To the moon. Yeah, no, I, you know, it's like the candle thing. Like we've always gotten candles as gifts. I don't really go like buy candles though. So I'm sorry if that wasn't a satisfactory. What's, answer. but before, before the BD candle, before the, mm. the wooden sleepers candle, what, what was the most you ever spent on a candle? Uh, I don't know. You know, Allison worked uh, for anthropology for a long time. And they had this candle there that was pretty nice. Um, I, I honestly don't know the name of the brand. The scent was Volcano. Came in a lovely little vessel. And I remember that. Really, and uh, we always had those around the house. So I guess that was the candle that uh, I remember having. But I don't think she like really had to pay much for them because she got that discount. Mm. Um, I bought one of those. I, don't, I never know how to say it correctly. Someone please correct me. Uh, like Malin and like goats. I always said Malin and Getz, and then other people said Malin and goats. That dark rum candle, and I remember yeah. I, I, <laughs> I had lit the candle. This is when Herm and I were living together in Harlem, and I thought I was. So I remember cool. this vividly. Yeah, and I had just also spent a stupid amount of money on these like Alden loafers, <laughs> right? And I, I thought I was so cool. I mean, at the time, like it was, it was a ton of money for me, but I bought him and I was like, yeah, I got him. And so I think I was like getting ready to go on a date or something, getting ready to go out. And so I, I, I lit the candle to feel good and get ready. And next thing you know, like I bump it and the hot wax of the candle spills off my crappy Ikea, you know, mom dresser all over the floor and all over my shoes. So next thing you know, I had Ooh. hot wax on, which was like all oily smelly dark rum hot wax on my alden loafers bad bad night i no canceled bueno. the date did you uh, yeah i could i what, what am i gonna wear my my awesome Different shoes, shoes? Were, no but i had those those were the shoes for the night all right i get that you know i'd like to if i could jump in i remember you buying that candle and what it was just, it was so funny because like we were young, we we're in our early 20s and you were like, oh, I spent this money in this candle and it blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, it was amazing. Yeah, that candle, by the way, I think was, I think it was almost $80 for that stupid candle. Yeah, that blew my Such mind. Such an idiot. I remember you, you also bought that like rose water that day too, remember that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I did. Well, because <laughs> I was, I, I was trying to iron my shirt because I, I don't know who I talked to. Um, but I was like ironing my shirt and you put, put rose water in the iron. So when, when the steam from the rose water, <laughs> I sound so stupid. I can't wait. It's a life thing. And I'm realizing it. Uh, <laughs> the steam. Jeremy Kirkland, this is why you are the leader of the glam fam. It's a bit like this. And I just want more of this. <laughs> Idiocy? Sure, you got it. Yeah, I bought the stupid, massive, 
Santa Maria Novella rose water. It was like thirty-eight dollars. Oh I then dumped all of the rose water into that shitty iron we had, and then I was like, "Oh, this is great!" And all the steam, it's gonna make my 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 Oxford just smell so perfect. And and I I mean, obviously, scent's pretty important to me. Now you're, you're figuring this out, right? <laughs> like I, I had the candle and the rose water and like no money, and then I canceled the date and just basically probably sat in the darkness or asked him to play PlayStation later. I mean, that was that was it. Yeah, I remember walking in with like my Budweiser 40, and I was like, "You spent how much on water?" <laughs> this, is <crazy. laughs> this is true. Ah, <laughs> oh, memories. Yep. Well, that's probably all the time we got. <laughs> that's it. That's um, it. I think I don't know. People might have asked other questions, but I might have skipped past them on accidentally, and I, I don't know how to scroll all the way up. Um. But BD, we love you. We're glad you're here. Everyone we, that joined, this was cool. But I, we're gonna keep trying to do these. We got, um, we got fun folks that are coming on. We got Maddie Matheson who's coming on. We got a lot of like fun goofballs. It's gonna happen. We're gonna keep doing Chin to Win. We're gonna keep doing advice from yourself. Herm's gonna be here. Uh, I, I know I'm gonna like, you know, plug here. Like, subscribe to the Twitch thing so we can actually, uh, you know, keep these things going. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Herm, BD, you guys want to plug? Yeah, we got we got plenty more games coming up. This is just a – we just dipped our toes into the water on these wacky games, so there's plenty more to come. Um, Jeremy, thank you so much for having me on, on this show. Brian Davis, thank you so much for being my friend. I love you so much. And, Jeremy, I want to throw you in there, too. I love you so much. Everybody watching and commenting, I love you, too. It is so awesome that you're there writing writing to us. What's this right here? Can Maddie Franklin and Maddie oh, Mathis do a Maddie – that's actually a great idea. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a game, there's a game right there. You know what, Jimmy Fallon, you're fired. It's the Herm Show now. Yeah, we got plenty. Of uh, games. BD, what do you want to plug? Plug, plug, a plug. Uh, uh, man, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, inviting me on tonight. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I love you both. You're my dearest friends. Um, for anybody out there who might be watching. Uh, if we didn't get to your question, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram at wooden sleepers, one word. Um, if you need any vintage clothing guidance, uh, hit me up, uh, follow along. And um, that's pretty much all I've got. I appreciate you guys. And thank you. Uh, thank you for soliciting that advice from the other Brian Davises of the world. It really, uh, that, at least that last one was mildly touching. So thank you. I'll, let me tell you what I'm gonna. When we get offline, I'm gonna share you some of the uh, some of those guys. You're gonna love it. Wait, why didn't okay, you yeah. share it on the show? Is it is it just mad yeah, inappropriate? Okay, yeah, I, you know, it's not it's not it's inappropriate, but I, I you know we got to respect the privacy of these BDs. I don't want the <laughs> millions of people watching to start flooding these people's uh, Instagrams. This is true. This is true. All right, everyone. We will see you all soon. Thanks for joining us. This was fun. We'll do it again. Bye. Bye, everybody. Can you see my hand?